Hey guys, Justin James here. We're in the gym today and we're going to work on activating the glutes. So stay tuned. All right, we're gonna hook you guys up with a little routine to show you, all joking aside, how to activate the glutes and start to use the hips properly in your golf swing. Before we do that, you know we wanna thank Iron Jock, our clothing sponsor, Silver Ion Technology, so that you won't stink. And I've told you guys this before, I left a shirt in the car for a week. It was horrific. I swear it did not smell, I was able to wear it. So I can attest the stuff works for whatever voodoo magic they have in these. Okay, they're breathable, they're light, and they allow us to turn as far as we can and they're not restrictive, which is very important when it comes to golf clothing. Check them out, Iron Jock, Hit Bombs 20, use that discount code. All right, so now, got a little routine for you. Um, activating the glutes. It's kind of a funny catchphrase, right? It's very important because unless we can get into hip extension, and hip, ex hip extension is that glute activation, then we're not using our hips properly in the golf swing. Okay, because we want to start here, and then to really use our hips in the golf swing, we need to, boom, fire through impact. You see that with the guys who hit it farthest on the tour, and the guys on our tour, the same thing. They get those hips firing through towards the target through impact. So how do we do that? All right, so let's start on the floor. This is step one, all right? When we just lay on the floor right here, you're going to see there's some space under my back right here. There's arch in the lower back. First thing I want to do is just eliminate that space. That takes me from a turned off position, boom, now into a neutral position. Okay, that's the first thing for you to work on. Let's say 10 reps. Can you just eliminate that space into the floor? Okay, so the way we're doing that is we're firing. There's a little glute activation and there's a little pull from the abs to take our pelvis from dumping out water this way to now neutral and tucked, okay? Bam, we're just tucking those hips into a neutral position. All right, so that's step one. Step two is can you fire the glutes, all right? Can you actually take your butt muscles and fill them up so you just raise your hips up? Okay, I'm not like bridging up, I'm just firing glutes. Okay, a lot of you can't do that and I couldn't do that at first. All right, that's the way I learned to do it. I'm just laying on the floor and can you raise your hips up by basically squeezing your butt cheeks together? All right, the way I learned to activate the glutes was feeling like I held a fart in. That's the only way I did it. That might help you. There's a good tip for you, all right? So we're just going to, boom, contract glutes. Next step is you can, can you contract the right glute while relaxing the left and the left while relaxing the right? So you're gonna rock your hips, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, so now fire the glutes and then tuck the pelvis so that we're eliminating that space. All right, so here was our progression again. We just eliminated the space, so we brought our pelvis to a neutral position with a little glute activation. Then we worked on just activating the glutes without anything going on in our back, just boom. Okay, then we worked on rocking right glute, left glute, right glute, left glute. Then we worked on contracting the glutes, boom, and then tucking the pelvis. And that's the neutral position, and that's hip extension. That's the position that we want at the top. All right, so now let's take that to a quadruped position. All right, we're gonna be here, and I want you to repeat that same thing you just felt, that little pelvic tuck. So this is, you've seen this before in yoga, cat dogs, okay, where the activity's happening up here. I want the activity to happen in the pelvis. So these are pelvic cat dogs. So right now our back is arched, okay? And again, if our pelvis is a bucket, that water's leaking forward. I want you to tuck that bucket into a neutral position. There. So it's just that little pelvic tuck. All right, so we're shortening the distance from our belly button to the floor of our pelvis. It's that little pelvic tuck, all right? All the activity in our back is, is coming from our pelvis, so those little pelvic tucks. From here, we'll come to a tall kneeling position. We're gonna sit back and arch our back, all right? And now we're gonna come up and tuck our pelvis, boom. See how flat my back is? 
and my pelvis is tucked up underneath me. That's hip extension, guys. We're on track now to getting to where we want to be. Boom. And this, by the way, this hip extension is what we want at the top of every kettlebell swing, at the top of every squat. We sit back, bam, hip extension. Now we can also do this on one leg. Okay, this is harder. Sit back, boom, pelvic top into hip, hip extension. All right, so 10 reps. Every exercise here, 10 reps, okay? Now we'll stand, all right? We did it in a tall kneeling position. Now we'll stand and we'll do it assisted on some. So we can have a dowel, we can have a wall, okay? And what we're wanting you to do is just a pelvic tuck. So we arch our back, tuck our pelvis. Arch our back, tuck our pelvis. Arch our back, tuck our pelvis, okay? And the last and the final step is can we do it unsupported? So we're just here in golf posture, arch our back, tuck our pelvis, arch our back, tuck our pelvis, arch our back, tuck our pelvis. Okay, that's the pelvic control that we need and the glute firing to get here in the golf swing where we're here and boom, fire through and get our hips all the way through. When we're at impact, we want those glutes in that posterior chain to be solid and fully activated so we have tension and stability so we can hit that ball as hard as we can. So remember, we started on the floor, press your lower back in, then turn your glutes on, rock your hips, then fire the glutes and press the low back into the floor, then go to a tall kneeling position, okay, and just practice hip, hip extension. Sit back, fire the hips. Then we go single leg, sit back, fire the hips. 10 reps on everything, stand up, assisted pelvic tuck, fire the hips, tuck the pelvis, get into that neutral position, and then finally, can you do it unsupported? Just these pelvic tucks that are so, so important for what we're trying to do as rotary athletes who use the ground. It's the ability to manipulate, move the pelvis, and fire the glutes. By the way, every rep here, these glutes are all the way on, they're fired. Abs are pulling, glutes are firing to take the pelvis from here to a neutral position. There's a little routine for you. If you master that, you're finally gonna be able to, you start to get some ownership over that, use your hips in the golf swing the way that all the instructors you've ever worked with have yelled at you to do. All right, so a lot of what you've been able, unable to do is because you don't have ownership over this. Start to get this, start to be able to get some more power in that swing. Right, if you guys found that helpful, please hit that like button, hit subscribe. We've got a lot more great content coming for you guys. Love to thank Iron Jock. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.